Today, let's break into some math about how to size piping calibration blocks and where it's really easy to go wrong. ASME Section 5, Article 4 is our rule book for inspecting piping welds, and we have rules in there for both curvature and thickness. For curvature, the rules are stated in terms of the calibration block. So we take the cal block and we multiply it by 0.9 to 1.5, or that's 90 to 150%, and that gives us the range of pipe that we can inspect with that particular block. Now for thickness, it's the other way around. Curvature is written in terms of the cal block, thickness is written in terms of the pipe. For the thickness rule, they say that your cal block has to be within 25% of the nominal thickness of the pipe. I'm not sure why they did this. They put the curvature rules in terms of the cal block and then the thickness rules in terms of the pipe. Never mind, it's been this way for years and years and years. We're just going to have to live with it, but this does offer a point of confusion. For curvature, we'll use a really simple example. You have a cow block that is 10 inches in diameter. So that block is good for pipe that has an actual OD of nine inches to 15 inches. When we talk about thickness, we have to start thinking in terms of the pipe first, not the calibration block. And we got to talk a little bit about some math. And I think this is where the confusion comes in. The range on thickness is up or down 25%. So we take our nominal thickness of our pipe, and multiply up by 1.25 or divide down by 1.25 to get our range of calibration block thicknesses, right? Wrong. Dividing a number by 1.25 does not reduce it by 25%. It only reduces it by 20%. And to understand this, we're going to look at some fractions. 1.25 is the same as 5 over 4. This takes our number, divides it into four equal parts, and then adds a fifth one on top representing an extra 25%. If you divide by 1.25 to get the lower limit on your calibration block size, rather than multiply by 0.75, you're actually dividing by 5 over 4. When you divide by a fraction, this is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of the fraction, and a reciprocal is just an upside down fraction. To find the allowable thickness range for your cow block, you need to multiply by 0.75 up to 1.25. If you divide by 1.25 to try to find the lower end, you're not going down 25%, you're only going down 20%. I wish the code were written in terms of either put everything in terms of the cow block or everything in terms of the pipe. Now, I like to think of everything in terms of the cow block. That just makes it easy. That way I have a cow block and I know what it's good for. And to find the range of pipe sizes that your cow block thickness is good for, you simply take it and multiply it by 0.8 to 1.33. And not surprisingly, 0.8 is 4 fifths, 1.33 is 4 thirds. These are the reciprocals when we thought of everything in terms of the pipe. Sizing piping calibration blocks can be confusing. This is the whole reason why I designed these ERVW and ERVT blocks with PH tool. We tried to make something that was easy, reduce the number of blocks, put them all in one kit so you were ready for pretty much anything. Let's use the ERVT block from PH tool. This is something that we designed for piping that's over 20 inches in diameter. It has six steps on it with side drilled holes. This covers you for thicknesses in any pipe over 20 inches from 0.2 of an inch thick all the way to two inches all in one block. And you can see those fractions I told you or the 0.8 to 1.33 factors. If you wanna think in terms of the cow block, it's written right here. We have a half inch section on the block and it's good for 0.4 to 0.666, which is 0.8 to 1.33. Sizing piping calibration blocks for ASME weld inspections doesn't have to be hard. I hope a little understanding of the math helps you out. And the whole idea behind the ERVT and ERVW block from PH Tool was simply to make things easier and make sure that you always had the right block when you needed it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And thanks for watching.